What's up, guys? This is Omar Best, and welcome to the second podcast of How to Be a Stock Market Player. For today's topic, we will be discussing investing versus saving. And people, there is a difference. There is a difference between investing and saving. Understand that the wealthy do not save. They invest That is the primary difference between wealthy individuals and the rest of us. And I know what you're going to say. You're going to say, well, the wealthy, they have a lot of money to invest. Well, you have money to invest, too. Even if you only have $100, you have the money to invest. And let me point this out as well. In sports, there are two sayings that are used quite frequently amongst commentators you will hear commentators saying well this team is playing to win they're playing to win and then you'll hear them sometimes say well the team they're playing not to lose they're not playing to win they're playing not to lose and when it relates to personal finance i would argue that saving your money is playing not to lose and investing your money is playing to win and let's just face facts people Let's just face it. You will not survive retirement putting your money in a simple bank savings account earning 1% interest. It's just not going to happen. Believe me, it's not going to happen. And go ahead. If you think that I'm blowing smoke about the 1% interest, go ahead and take a look at www.bankrate.com. That's www.bankrate.com. This website, they rank the banks that offer the highest uh, annual percentage yield or interest on your money per year. And the last time that I checked, the top bank was offering depositors 1.05%, which we all can agree is complete BS. We all can agree with that, especially considering the fact that the bank is going to loan out the money that we deposit for no less than 6% and even upwards to 25% because you got to remember that banks they're also involved with personal credit cards and if you have a personal credit card you know that the interest is usually between 15% or 10 10% and it could go all the way up to 30% especially if you've missed the payment or whatever they may increase the interest rate on you but you have to remember that so you guys are still saying and I know I, I know what you're saying Omar, investing is too risky. Well, you know what, guys? Saving is risky as hell, too. If you are not investing, then you are risking living in poverty during your retirement your retirement years. You know, taking no risk, I mean, I, I, would, I would argue that taking no risk is a risk. Playing it safe all the time is a risk and while we're talking about risk let's let's put this into perspective let's put this in perspective and i want you to listen to me close here let's look at it like this person a has never took a driver's education class and they've never drove a car in their life person b they've took a driver's education class they've had about two wrecks and they've been driving for the past five years Okay, so given these two people and their credentials, if you needed someone to drive a car for you, who would you choose to drive for you? Person B, right? Why would you choose person B to drive for you? Because they have knowledge, they have experience, and even though they've had a couple of wrecks, they've they, we we are assuming we are assuming that they have learned from that experience we know that because person b has more experience driving they have the education that even though while driving anybody can get into a wreck we know that it's less of a chance that person b would get in a wreck versus person a why because person a they've never drove a car in their life they don't know anything about cars they've never took a driver's education class So how does this relate to investing? Well, your risk reduces when you understand the investment vehicles that you are involved in. 
And if you don't understand, if, if you don't understand nothing about stock market investing and how the stock market works, then yes, chances are you will lose your ass. You will lose money because you don't know anything about stock market investing. And understand, people. Stock market investing will always be considered a high risk investment. But if you invest in a stock market without understanding what the hell is going on, then your risk is magnified tenfold. So an already risky investment is an extremely risky investment. And one thing that I want you guys to to really uh, get a grasp of is that the stock market is not the only way. I know. I know my website that I operate is called how to be a stock market player dot com. I talk about the basics of stock market investing, but I have to let you know this. The stock market is not the only way. It's not the only way to make your money work for you. It's not the only way to make a better return on your money versus a simple savings account. There are other investment vehicles out there that you could take advantage of. You could become an angel investor. You can invest in property tax liens. You can invest in in real estate. And I'm not talking about in, uh, putting your money in a single family home and renting them out. I'm talking about purchasing a multi unit apartment building and renting those out. Peer to peer lending. You can get involved in peer to peer lending, which you become the bank. You loan out money and get the six percent versus the bank getting the six percent. You could invest in corporate bonds, municipal bonds, government bonds, and there are a host of other types of investment vehicles that you can get involved in. You just have to know what investment vehicles are out there for you to take advantage of. And remember, all of these investment vehicles have an element of risk involved, but your risk is reduced when you understand how the investment works. That is the key understanding how the investment work if you do not understand how an investment works then yes you're you you're creating the risk right there because you don't know what is going on you don't know what you what you are doing so guys um if you want to understand or, or want to learn more about the investment vehicles that i just mentioned um I will include some podcast notes that will be available at www.howtobeastockmarketplayer.com. Go to go to howtobeastockmarketplayer.com and look for podcast or podcast notes. And in there, you will see uh, links to resources paid. You may have to pay for some of them and free resources that will allow you to understand uh other types of investment vehicles a little bit better. And of course, if you want to learn about stock market investing, also visit us at howtobeastockmarketplayer.com and there is a link at the very very top in the navigation bar and it says stock market basics 101. Guys, I hope that you enjoyed this podcast. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you like what you heard, please subscribe, leave us comments, rate us And also make sure that you check us out at howtobeastockmarketplayer.com. Once again, this is Omar Best from How To Be A Stock Market Player. And stay tuned for the next podcast. Peace. Wish you the best and much success. See you later.